Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 76. Carrying on with Beckett's story, uh, we uh, started it on the last episode, so if you missed that, I would recommend checking that out first. Been doing a bunch of odds and ends for him, and now we are off to uh, go after one of the first of the three main Blood Eagle Raider Gang leaders. Apparently he's somewhere in Berkeley Springs, so... We just have a general area to find him in over here. Kind of looks like it's over by the, uh, I think it's like a, it used to be a spa or something, but it's like a raider, uh, stronghold these days. As is usual, I gotta sit here. Berkeley Springs is one of those places that doesn't want to load, even if you spend a few minutes on a loading screen coming here. Still have to sit there for a minute and wait. Alright. Anyways. Yeah, looks like it's on the other end of town. Just gonna ignore these guys. More important things to do than kill every last thing in this town. Gotta guess he's up top. Stupid dailies always starting themselves. Where's this guy? Jesse the Hook. Okay. Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. The traps in this game are such a joke. There we go. Hello there. Oh. Okay, there you are. By the blood. Only level 60, huh? And you were one of the main bad guys, really? Well, there goes the blood. <laughs> Frank the Butcher, you're even higher level. You would have been more appropriate, boss. Interesting rolling pin. Like I said last time, I wish they would give us more than one thing to do every time we go out. So much back and forth. Oh, hi. Well, that was easy. More, but uh, don't need to kill them all. Let me just get away from them here. Go back to Beckett. Home sweet home. Oh, let me turn my. Gotta have the smoke machine on. No, don't. Dude. <laughs> Dude, no. Talk to me. Don't play the. It's always good to see. I just can't believe you did it. I just. I feel. lighter. Really? Okay. Would you uh, make up your Ronnie mind there? Came by while you were away. She said Edwin can't even consider helping us at all because he's in a state of uh, despair. Look, uh, I know this sounds uh, petty compared to what you've already done, but well, his uh, his dog is missing. To some people, a dog is an important member of the family. Yeah, those people are called weirdos. <laughs> I don't care if Edwin wants to marry his dog, right? If it puts his gang on our side, we all win. Not a dog person, huh, Beckett? <laughs> Why don't we just kill Edwin so Roddy takes his place? Now, uh, a lost dog, seriously? Look, I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But look, to finish off the Blood Eagles, we're gonna need Edwin's help. So, let's play ball, okay? I gotta wait here for Sage, so do me this favor, please. Yeah, you just stay here and twitch. Uh, just give me the details and I'll grab the dog. Thanks, friend. Well, I know it's silly, but uh, hey, it means something to Edwin, so 
What can we do? Aren't the Blood Eagles pissed at us now? They have no idea who you are. I'm, I'm sure they're taking out revenge on literally every single vault dweller they see right now. Others too, maybe. I know it sounds like we made things worse, but we have to finish it. We have to cut off the other two heads. And then they're just idiots again. What else can we do to cripple the Blood Eagles? Well, I'm not sure yet. But I'm hoping some of my contacts will give me an idea while you're grabbing the... Uh, dog. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll find that dog. See ya. I think its name is Noodles. I... I'm 60% sure of that. Anyway. Uh, good luck. Noodles, huh? Okay. Oh wow, he's way the hell down there. You know, I'm wondering when the hell they're ever gonna do anything with Vault 96, and also Vault 63. These are a few of the vaults that, uh, as far as I remember, still have absolutely no significance. Uh, oop. Anyways. Oh right, this place. This is the place where I, uh... I had that little clip I posted a long time ago. We'll see if it still works. Uh, there's like a skeleton Where launcher up here. Mother, I will follow. Hi there. Okay. Of course there's cultists. One behind me. Thing just misses for no apparent reason. I don't really like using the iron sights on this thing. It uh, it feels just as accurate just staying still and hip firing. And it's kind of just like hard to hard to see. Not sure how I'm not hitting this guy. Bye then. Hold on, we gotta go up top and see if the, uh, the corpse launcher is still up here. Oh, it is. Alright, we'll see if this still works. <laughs> uh, I remember when I first came across this runner-up. Oh. Okay, last one. <laughs> the first one was the best. Okay, anyways, we're looking for a dog. I- whoa, hello, what the f- It's a mole rat. Hi, Noodles. It's a glowing mole rat. Just gonna disappear? No, okay. <laughs> well. Okay, then. Always watching. What's this? We look to the sky, tunnel vision, we search for the one, divine, merciful, always watching. Good old cultists. Chapter 7. Chapter 7. Constructing the effigy. Gather 10 to 20 bundles of sticks underneath the new moon. Bind them tightly with the entrails of the sacrificial beast and cleanse and bless your tools with holy incense. Construct the form of your effigy with the bundles, using straw or twine to fix them into position. Plant a staff of hewn oak down the center of the effigy. Hammer the staff firmly into the dirt, and pile more sticks, logs, and wood scraps around the base. Anoint your sacred blade with the holy oil made from the bright one's eggs, and use your blade to bless the effigy for use in your circle. Okay. Anyways. And return to Beckett. Yep. Okay. Another holotape here. What is this? I had just gotten back from my pre-dawn hunt when the bomb hit. I could see the mushroom cloud from the front window of the house. The way the window framed the explosion was strange. It's almost like it wasn't really happening. Too perfect. Too... Beautiful. Uh, luckily, Johnson's acre was too remote to be damaged, but... 
I'm betting it won't be long before I start feeling the effects of the radiation. Whether I want to or not, I'm going to have to travel to Charleston to try and gather supplies before they're all gone. Damn it. If I'd only brought more than a weekend's worth of food, I could have stayed here where it's safe. If you're listening to this message, um, that probably means I found somewhere else to lay low. Or never made it at all. Maybe having a roof over your head for the night will give you hope. So he says he saw a mushroom cloud from the front window of his house, which means out this way. The one thing I commented on a long time ago about this game is that there's no, like, proper impact sites. I mean, you can launch nukes as, you know, using the missile silos and stuff, but it's not like Fallout 4 or 3 or New Vegas where we find legit craters or places where we know bombs dropped. It's all, uh, pretty much, I, I've never seen one in this game be down this way somewhere. But, uh, anyways. So, when Ronnie said dog, what she meant was a freaking mole rat? Seriously. Well, I'm sure it'll, uh, find its way home, Dad, when now that you've freed it. <laughs> Yuck. But in the meantime, I've heard the Blood Eagles have recruited a mechanic named Star. And they plan to have her help take over a radio station. We can't let that happen. If they get the radio working, we could drastically decrease their signal to noise ratio using a burst jammer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure everything you just said made perfect sense to you. <laughs> but, uh, all I heard was blah, 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 blah. Uh, how about you just stick the burst jam in a bullet into Star's skull? Hmm? That should do the trick. How will a radio station help the Blood Eagles? Yeah, if the Blood Eagles get a radio station up and running... They can literally broadcast their threats across Appalachia. Everyone who hears the message will either run away or join up to avoid being killed. Know anything about this star person? She joined up about two weeks before I did. She's so amped, they didn't even need to juice her up with the buff out to mess with her mind. I once saw her kick a defenseless woman off of a cliff. I mean, who the hell does that? She needs to fall. <laughs> Hard. So Star needs to die. Got it. Yeah, it's the only way. Want anything before you head out? Have you heard back about Edwin's gang? <sighs> no, and it's kind of freaking me out. I was getting regular messages from Ronnie, and suddenly they've stopped. I have a feeling something big is going down over at their camp, but well, we can't worry about that now. How's Sage doing? Has he visited lately? Not really. Though I know he'll be back. He always is. He's probably talking to the rocks again. I'll be back. You'll be back after these messages, right? That's uh, what I what I heard people used to say all the time. Thanks, Beckett. Okay, Seneca Gang Camp. Okay, up by Automaker. I'm gonna go over to Automaker real quick. A little bit of my side business. Still trying to finish some challenges. Need some more magazines and whatnot. Actually starting to run fairly low on uh, easy challenges for, you know, atoms and stuff like that. It's pretty much all just grindy ones at this point. <laughs> Loading screen is a uh, old picture from before the uh, foundation was there. It's the same location. Ah, uh, damn it. No magazine. Oh well. Anyways. Hello there. Bye, Star. Like, I know they expected me to do this probably earlier in levels, but holy hell are these people easy to kill. Even this person's higher level than the main person I was after here. Okay, rip Star. That was fast. Oh, in case you hadn't seen my character in a while, yeah, I look a little bit different. I got this, uh, lobster trap helmet, like, from, uh, Far Harbor. From some challenge during February. I figured since my camp kind of looked like a Mothman cult location a bit, I should look the part a little Back to Beckett. So, Star's no longer with us, I assume? <laughs> Good. 
Well, honestly, I'm really glad you're back. Ronnie is desperate for our help. Turns out Edwin's much sicker than everyone thought, and... Well, I don't think he's fit to run their gang any longer. Who the hell is this mystery gang anyways? He keeps talking about Ronnie and Edwin, and I haven't seen a single person yet. How did Edwin get so sick? Uh, I'm not sure. His health has gone downhill since coming to Appalachia. Probably because he insisted on hanging around the ash heap. What can we do to help? Well, I was thinking about that. Well, there was a Sadler family that came to Appalachia looking for treasure a while back. And they uh, brought their Miss Nanny with them. But they uh, don't need it anymore. I was thinking maybe Ronnie could use it to help with Edwin. Is the Miss Nanny still functional? Honestly, I have no idea if it's still working. Or if someone's wandered by and decided to strip it for parts. That's helpful. Why doesn't the Settler family need their bot anymore? Because they're all dead. I, uh, I killed them. I killed them all for their chems and a couple of caps. It's a memory I wish I could forget. I'll go get this robot for Edwin, but this better work. If it doesn't, we just have to move on without them. Maybe we can convince Meg to help us? Tell me about the Miss Nanny. Well, I don't know much about the thing. Even though it seemed attached to the family, uh, you know, it didn't try to fight back when I... Um, when I killed everyone. You know, when I uh, put it all together, the Miss Nanny, the, the chems... The family must have been sick. I murdered sick, innocent people in cold blood. <laughs> well, this is what addiction does to you. You know, how the Blood Eagles strip away your humanity. Now, they need to die. All of them. How do you remember where the settlers were? I remember this place well. Do I deserve the... Memories replaying in my mind? Reliving what I did there? Probably. But I gotta forgive myself, too. Not entirely, but... Enough. This won't take long. I'll be back soon. Good. Well, in the meantime, I'll uh, put out some feelers for information on the rest of the Blood Eagles' leadership. You do that. Back at Garehan, haven't been there in a while, alright. Ah, great, it's actually inside Garehan. Time to waste some robots. Oh, hello. Hello, goodbye. I remember my original adventures through here. Working on uh, getting the excavator armor, which I still use. I have, um... I was wrong when I said on the last episode about my T-65 progress. I just got the uh, other arm today, so now I still have to get the two legs to craft before I can get that suit, which uh, is another 2,000 gold bullion altogether. I'm not sure how the hell they expected anyone to get all that bullion stuff with how slow the grind is to get gold. I mean, there's ways to speed it up beyond just doing dailies. You can buy a certain amount per day, too. But even if you do that, it's still extremely slow. Still an Assaultron. I hate fighting Assaultrons. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Holy hell. I'm trying to heal, I'm trying to heal, I swear. Hi there. Just a minute. Damn it. A fusion core. Yes, 
Yes, dearie? Yes, dearie? Hmm? You don't have anything to say? Just, yes, dearie? Okay, then. You're welcome. Bye. At least he didn't die. Just straight up disappear like a sage did when I went and rescued him. <sighs> okay, back to Beckett. I swear when I record these ally videos, they're always about like three times as long as the actual video because n more than half of the footage I gather is looking at loading screens from me going back and forth over and over. For instance, at this point in the video, I've already actually been recording for 40 minutes. Not sure where it is in edited form, but... Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you're back. Oh, I've got some news you need to hear. Okay, could you stop tweaking around there? Uh, what's wrong? Look, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It's Frankie, my kid brother. I told that idiot to leave Foundation and hide, but he wouldn't listen. And now the Blood Eagles have him, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. This is all my fault. Yes, it is your fault. Why did they have your brother? Slow down? Why? But don't you get it? They're gonna torture him to get to me. Okay, look, first they kill your heart. They make you forget everything you love, and when you're the most vulnerable, they mess with your brain. I'll take care of it, Beckett. You're a real friend. You truly are. Okay, Beckett. Breathe here. Come on, let's see. Let's see, he's a smart kid. I mean, he'll, he'll escape on his own, right? I mean... No. No. God damn it! Oh my god. I just keep imagining the terrible things they're doing to him. I, uh... Oh god, I can't think. I can't think. Do you think Frankie would willingly join the Blood Eagles? Frankie? <laughs> no, 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 there's no way. Look, they're holding him for leverage. Plain and simple. And, 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 and now that their buff out supply is gone, God knows how they're gonna mess with his mind. Well, at least you know they'll keep him alive. The way the Blood Eagles torture their prisoners, he'd be better off... Oh, man. I can't believe I'm even thinking stuff like that. Now, we gotta get him out of there. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're... you're right. I can't let this get to me. Think. I need... to think. Wait, wait! I got it. I know what we need to do. Okay, the Blood Eagles have another leader. Uh, some sicko they call the Eye. Okay, he's the gang's uh, information extractor. Okay, you need to find him. He's elusive, but I know where he does some of his worst shit to people. It's a place they call the Lab. Man, this guy's really spending money. I'll find the Eye, but what are you gonna do? I'll head to Foundation. See if I can get a hold of some of Frankie's friends, or rummage through his stuff. I'll see what I can turn up. Need anything before you head out? You sure the Eye will have information on Frankie? Well, it's not like the Blood Eagles keep a lot of records. Um, everybody moves around a lot, and there isn't that much structure outside of the leadership. It might be a gamble, but it's the best chance we've got. Tell me about your brother. <laughs> Frankie was... Uh, <clears throat> Is a good kid. I knew things were going rough for me, so I left him with some settlers. I didn't know he'd come down to Appalachia. When I heard he was living in Foundation, I thought, maybe, you know? Maybe he'll be safe with them. I didn't tell anybody about him being there. I, <clears throat> you know, I knew someone would use it against me. I don't know how they found out. Okay, I'll see what I can find. I'll be back. Just hurry. There's no telling how long my brother will be able to hold out. God, this guy is dumping all of his money over here. Okay, anyways. Uh, the... Really? The Vantage? Okay.
Wow, you're ugly. Give me that. You're fucking dead. No, you. Where was that? Where are you? Huh? The hell? I still think it's cool that you can see uh, rain in the distance and stuff. Anyone else home? You know, there's. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Legendary, huh? We'll see about that. Wherever you are. Where did I put those cams? The uh, the the eyes subject, Frankie. State your name, for the record. I'm Frankie Beckett. My brother is one of you. Just bring him in here. He can explain everything. No, thanks. I don't do cams. My brother does them, and. He's always getting hurt and sick, so I don't. If it's all the same to you, no thanks. Okay. More. Uh, 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 I don't feel okay. Lovely. Really needed that, uh, ASMR. Just make it a pit stop to spend some of those caps. See, it's like a 3,000 caps. It's only 150. But, you know what, for now, just give me 100. <laughs> it's... They made the gold bullion grind so stupidly slow. It's infuriating. And there is so much stuff you can buy with bullion. So you didn't find Frankie either. Damn it. Well, Foundation wasn't a complete bust. No one knew where Frankie went, but I did find this holotape. Seems Frankie had a girlfriend. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Oh, poor kid. I hope we can get him out of this mess, if he's still alive. I found a holotape too. It has your brother's name on it. Wait. This is a recording of one of the eyes sessions at the lab. I don't know if I'm ready to listen to that. You know, but I... I suppose I'll have to. Right. While I'm doing that, I need you to help out with a new problem. Words come down that the Blood Eagles are stockpiling poison to use on settlers' food supplies. We can't let that happen. You sure Sage will have information about Frankie? Well, see, he knows a lot of people who see and hear things differently than you and I. Sometimes those things are meaningful. So, maybe. Doesn't hurt to ask. What about Frankie? He's way more important than a stockpile of poison. Look, friend, I understand the impatience, but I, I, I do. I do. Okay? I want closure on Frankie. And I want to watch the Blood Eagles burn. See, the thing is... I need to be a better person, too. Okay? I used to be one of the brainless maniacs that would poison these innocent people with glee. Okay, but today, I decided to be a decent person who's gonna help some settlers live to see another day. All right, and I asked my friend to help. I'll go grab the poison so they can't use it on anybody else. All right, sounds good. After I listen to the recording, I'll keep looking for Sage. I could use his uh, sense of humor right now. You know, this could just be a distraction to throw us off Frankie's trail. Actually, I hadn't thought of that. Damn. Well, we'll just have to see it through. We can't miss any opportunity to find him. Just be careful, okay? Why would the Blood Eagles poison innocent people? <laughs> you, you might as well ask me, why is it bright when the sun shines? Okay, the Blood Eagles are insane. All right, after they plant the poison, They'll probably hide nearby just to watch the settlers die one by one. It's a game to them. 
I'll be back soon with an armful of deadly poison. Aww, that's the sweetest thing anybody ever said to me. <laughs> and here we go again, running errands. Ammo dump. All right, I'm going to drop into the Dane compound while we're there. Well, I did find a magazine, but uh, nothing that I didn't already have, so never mind. Go across the street, find this poison. Someone nuked the mine again. That's another quest I still need to do. Uh, now, people do it all the time, though, so I'll probably just join in sometime instead of actually launching the nuke myself. But uh, it's one of the quests for Foundation where we got to use a nuke to open uh, uh, or, or break an opening into the uh, Monaga mine. Go inside for one of the settlers up there. Pretty lightly guarded for their uh, poison supply, don't you think? The turrets. I feel like they should have put a lot more thought into some of the places they send you in these ally quests. Like, you'd think it would be somewhere heavily guarded. But nope, it was just in a trailer right here with nobody around. Okay, back we go. It's always good to see you around, friend. I heard oh your boy. sweet right. voice, That's Beckett. It. Here we go. <laughs> Is it time? Look, I don't want to ask, but I just have to. Sage, time for what, buddy? Oh. Not this again. Time for the air to breathe into us instead. Time for the rise to sun, for the memories to forget us. Uh, yeah, um, oh, okay, no. Nope, it's not time. All right, look, I need your help, okay? The Blood Eagles have my brother. Can you help me find him, or what? Oh, a brother found, a brother lost, or somewhere in between, perhaps? <laughs> Sage... Man, I appreciate your help, okay? I, I do, but if you don't give me a straight answer, so help me, I'm gonna pull your heart out through your ribcage. What? Heart? Yes. The heart is at the key. Beckett, the answer is simple. The claw is meant for you and will be exactly where your heart left it. I don't understand. Okay, where, where my heart left it? Where my heart left my, my, my brother? Okay, that's all you're gonna tell me, isn't it? <sighs> okay, <clears throat> bye, I guess. Thanks. Damn it. Having a conversation with a light pole? Anyways. Okay, I'm not sure if any of that was very helpful. Why I put up with that guy, I'll never know. I need to stew on what he said, I suppose. The claw is meant for you, and it is exactly where your heart left it. Hey, I know the claw is the last of the three Blood Eagle leaders, but is meant for you? I mean, what does that mean? I can take a guess. Who is the claw, anyway? Uh, he's the only Blood Eagle leader I never got a chance to meet. But I heard he's the worst of the three. See, the blood gathers the recruits. The eye extracts valuable information, and the claw... Oh, he just tortures for pleasure. Real stand-up kind of guy. I don't think it's that complicated, Sage is saying you need to kill the claw. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> that's gonna happen no matter what Sage says. What about the bit with the heart? Where your heart left it, he said. The heart might represent love. When did you and your brother start drifting apart? When the blood told me that I would get to watch everyone I love slowly get shredded in front of my eyes. I, uh, I imagined everything I could do to stop loving anyone. I gladly overdosed on the buff out to burn it out of my heart. Maybe he was saying you broke Frankie's heart. When could that have happened? When I, um, started going overboard with the chems, I guess. When I mixed them up with more... with poisons. With the Blood Eagles. 
All I can be certain of is that the heart is referring to Frankie. Uh, it's almost as though he's tying the claw and Frankie together. As if they were... Holy shit. Holy shit, that's it. Okay, Sage was saying that Frankie is being held by the claw. This is perfect. I know exactly what we need to do. I'll grab Ronnie and track down exactly where the claw is keeping Frankie. In the meantime, I need you to hunt down and kill the eye. You think you can handle it? You know, they really should have worked on making these conversations with the AI less awkward. <laughs> All he has to do is turn around. Is there anything else I should be looking for while I'm here? Yeah. While I'm there? Look for a place to dump the eye's corpse when you're done filling him full of bullets. Besides that, look for any info about Frankie. Actually, I think the eye was a she, if that holotape's right. Uh, the eye is dead meat. Counts on it. Look, I, uh, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. Sticking by me like this while I bark orders at you? <laughs> Hell, you're more than just a friend to me. You're like family. Thank you. Anything you need before you go? You know what? No, I'm off. Look, please, just be careful. All right, last thing I want to do is lose someone else that means a lot to me. We're pretty close to the end now. It, uh... It's been going a lot smoother than, uh... Sophia's quest. I'm not sure if it's actually shorter or if I'm just running into less uh, technical problems than I was during that. Uh, but yeah, I guess that'll do it for this one. Next time we'll finish up Beckett's story here. And um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.